This was the beginning of the fall of the Roman Empire. A great civilization is not conquered from without until it has destroyed itself from within. Five past twelve tomorrow afternoon, Mr. Quilp, a musical version of Charles Dickens' old curiosity shop with David Hemmings and Anthony Newley as the sly and grasping Cockney moneylender who's so crooked he has to screw his socks on. On BBC Two now, the season of films starring Sellers over Christmas continues with the satire on unions and industrial relations, which gave Peter Sellers one of his greatest roles, the shop steward in I'm All Right, Jack. This afternoon's children's programmes on BBC One begin in two minutes, when for the second time today we open the doors on Elizabeth Milbank and Johnny Ball in Play School. Mighty Mouse goes into action against a wild and wacky family of fighting and feuding Kentucky cats in Feudin Hillbillies at 4.20. And at 4.25 there's the second part of the small miracle in Jack and Ori. We've cartoon fun at 4.40 when Hong Kong Fooey meets the incredible Mr Shrink. And at 4.55, there's a star-packed Christmas edition of Cracker Jack, which includes Keith Harris, Shack Attack, Mike Reed, and Sue Pollard. Finally, at 5.35, Paddington brings the afternoon to a close in a Christmas escapade. And now Play School, presented by Elizabeth Milbank and Johnny Ball. A house with a door. Windows, one, two, three, four. Ready to play. What's the day? It's Friday. There. Hello. It's Christmas Eve. Hello. Tomorrow is Christmas. Let's have a look, see what's under our Christmas star. Three kings bearing gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. Yes, this is the week that Christmas comes. This is the week that Christmas comes. Let every pudding burst with plums. And every tree bear dolls and drums. In the week that Christmas comes. Let every hall bear boughs of green with holly glowing in between In the week that Christmas comes Let every doorstep have a song sounding the dark streets along In the week that Christmas comes Let every steeple ring a bell with a joyful tale to tell In the week that Christmas comes let every night put forth a star To show us where the heavens are In the week that Christmas comes Christmas comes Let every stable have a lamb Sleeping warm beside its dam 
In the week that Christmas comes, Christmas comes. This is the week, this is the week, this is the week that Christmas comes. The pets are with us today, oops, <laughs> because we've got some special presents of food for them. Some Christmas cake for Katu. Hope he enjoys that. <laughs> And a present for the fish. Some food for them. Here you are. Love toasted wholemeal bread. Put that there for you and button nibble for you. like cake too so I'm going to give them the same Christmas cake as could too. Here you are. Ooh, you like that? arrive oh a present to all the toys what's this it's for oh, the toys let's unwrap it because we're not here tomorrow you see. no so we'll open it now oh. what, oh, what can, can be in the parcel what can be in the parcel what can be in the parcel the parcel for the toys ah. blocks different kinds of blocks with shapes and colors on them who's that that's jemima so, there's a toy in each block, I think. Here's Hamble. Another one. Ah! Humpty! <laughs> ah, here we go. Here's one of the Teds. There's Big Ted there. Is that Big Ted? Oh, That's this is Little Ted. Ted. That's right. Yes. Oh, look, there are other designs on here. On the back. As well. If I turn them round... Windows. Oh, the windows. What about the bottom bit? I don't know. Well, look. See how they go. That one. I'll twist that round and I'll hold this. Yeah. Up. And that one. Bit. Bit. Hey, yeah, look. <laughs> it's the windows. I wonder what else it's got there. Here's something. I'm going to put that there just now. So I think I know what's going to be underneath. Looks a bit strange, doesn't it? Put this there just now. Find out what's on the bottom of all of these. That seems to fit, doesn't it? That looks a bit strange, so turn it round a bit. Any ideas? What about that goes there and that goes there. Can you see? Who is it? It's 
stop me. Dad was all dressed up with Chris for Christmas, and she got some new bells, especially for Christmas. And they're just wrapping them around the reins. Uh, you can't help jingling them. You don't have to move them, and they all jingle. Yeah. The toys are all ready. Take Big Ted as well. Can I take that one? Yeah, she can take that okay. ring. That's, That's it. it. We're all ready. For a sleigh ride in the snow. Join in with us if you know it. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Snowing o'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on dapple ring, every cheek's a glow. Oh, what fun it is to ride, singing as we go. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Make the welkin ring with this jingle gay. Every heart is bright, and all the skies are grey. Sparkle in the air for every tree alive. Oh, what fun it is to ride! Santa comes tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Whoa, double whoa! Oh. Oh, covered in snow now because my hat fell off. Stop snowing. Come on, Dapple. Oh, it's like to gallop now and again, Dapple. Good rock. But animals also like to be brought in in the winter because it gets very cold. Through the windows today, we can see some animals being brought in to be cosy and warm for the winter. See if you can guess what kind of animals they are. Have a look. Through the... Through the arched window. Get in the stables ready. Lots of hay for them to eat. And straw, dried grass for a bed, for the floor. The straw, very warm and cosy. They're even sweeping the yard. Making the stables ready for the animals. But what animals are they? There they are. Donkeys. These are the mothers with their babies. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. They come as soon as they're cold. Ready for them. Mother and the baby donkey. And when it gets really wintry outside, it'll be warm in here. And they'll be snug and cozy. They don't mind sharing it with the chicken.
all the other donkeys are still out in the fields. When the fields are high up, it gets very windy in winter and very cold. So all the donkeys are brought in. They have to get them all in before it goes dark. Come on, you're going to be late. Hurry up. ones are being brought in. So they'll all be safe, snug and warm for the winter. some things in it. I've got lots of things. I've got some buttons. Try those first. See what noise it makes. Hmm, it's not bad. It's a bit rattly. A bit loud, really. Let's try bits of cardboard that have been ripped up. No, a bit too soft, that, I think. What about these bottle tops? Milk bottle tops. Oh, there's plenty of those around. Don't need many. That's the sound! Isn't it good? Lovely tinkly sound. Now, I'll seal it up so that the baby can't open it. See? See it's at the bottom as well. And then, some paper. And wrap it up. Quite easily. Like that. And then scrunch it round at the top. Because that's going to be the handle. Bit of sticky tape, I think. Just round there. 
to stop it unravelling. Or you can decorate it with coloured wool, like that. Or ribbon or anything like right. And there's a rattle for a baby. Or a young friend. Good gift, isn't it? The story today is about some people giving gifts to a baby. And before I tell it, have a look at the clock with Liz. Do you know what time the clock says? The long hand is pointing straight up. That means it's something o'clock. And the short hand is pointing to the number eight. So today the clock says eight o'clock. What's underneath? <laughs> Some animals in a town called Bethlehem. Today's story is called The Friendly Beasts and it's an old English Christmas carol. You look at the pictures while I sing it. <laughs> Jesus, our brother strong and good, was humbly born in a stable rude, and the friendly beasts around him stood. Jesus, our brother strong and good, I said the donkey shaggy and brown, I carried his mother up hill and down, I carried her safely to Bethlehem town. I said the donkey shaggy and brown I said the cow all white and red I gave him a manger for his bed I gave him my hay to pillow his head I said the cow all white and red I said the sheep with the curly horn I gave him my wool for his blanket warm He wore my coat on Christmas morn I said the sheep with the curly horn I said the dove from the rafters high I cooed him to sleep so he would not cry We cooed him to sleep, my mate and I I said the dove from the rafters high And every beast by some good spell In the stable dock was glad to tell Of the gift he gave Emmanuel The gift he gave Emmanuel Remember all the animals in the carol and the noises that they made. What noise did the donkey make? E o e o e o. You do that. Make the noise of a donkey. E o e o. Now what other animals were there? I bet you know this one. There's a cow over there. What noise does a cow make? You do that. Moo. What about what about the sheep? What noise does a sheep make? Ba. Ba. You do that. Ba. And the dove on top of the stable. Now, what noise would that make? 
Now, that is a funny noise. That's not an animal, is it? What is it? Spinning coin. Lots of ways to spin a coin. You can do it like that. But you need quite big fingers. There's another way. If you hold it like that between the two hands and then pull away, with practice you can get it to spin really well that way. Look at that. But here's a magic way. Put the coin like that with your finger there. And then all you have to do is rub the finger with the other finger. And then it goes round. It's magic. I'll do it again, see if you can see how I do it. You. While I'm holding it like that, you see, I rub it with this finger, but this thumb comes along under here and hits it. And makes it spin round. Good trick, isn't it? <clears throat> Lots of tricks you can show people at Christmas. Here's another one. A handkerchief like that. Make it stand up. Like that, you see. And then you need a very long hair that's so long and so thin nobody can see it. And then you wrap it around the handkerchief. And when you pull, you can pull the handkerchief. And yet there's nothing there. It's a trick. <laughs> it's almost time for us to go now. Oh, right oh. What's he doing? Goodbye. No, not yet, Johnny. We're not oh. finished. <laughs> oh, sorry. Have a look at the picture underneath the oh, star. Oh, yes, there's one very more last picture. Let's see what it is. It's a nativity. Joseph and Mary and the baby. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Have a nice day tomorrow. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ding dong merrily on high, in heaven the bells are ringing. Ding dong merrily the sky is ringing with angels singing. Oh, 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 Pianist in today's play school was Peter Pettinger with David Heath on flute and Lynn Edwards on percussion. In five minutes, Jeremy Irons continues to tell us about the small miracle in Jack and Ori. First on BBC One, some fur flying fun with Feudin Hillbillies in Mighty Mouse. <laughs> in the heart of the hillbilly country, high above a fast-flowing river, lived a little family of mice. 